Greetings fellow enthusiasts! Today, let's embark on an intriguing journey into the structural dynamics of the Eiffel Tower, a marvel that reveals a captivating secret in the summer months. Buckle up for a detailed exploration where we unravel the science behind why this colossal iron structure seems to undergo subtle changes as the seasons shift. Visualize the iconic Eiffel Tower in the heart of Paris, standing as a testament to architectural brilliance. Now, let's delve deeper into the material science and engineering intricacies that give rise to the phenomenon we're about to dissect. At the core of this phenomenon lies the material that forms the Eiffel Tower. Iron, in its elemental form, exhibits a fascinating property known as thermal expansion. Essentially, as the temperature fluctuates, so does the volume of the iron. Iron and Thermal Expansion In the warmer summer months, the sun bathes the Eiffel Tower in its radiant warmth. The absorbed heat energizes the iron atoms, increasing their kinetic energy. This heightened activity causes the atoms to move more, resulting in the expansion of the iron structure. It's as if the tower is responding to the sun's embrace by stretching ever so slightly. Conversely, during the winter chill, the tower experiences contraction as the temperature drops. The decrease in temperature corresponds to a reduction in kinetic energy, causing the iron atoms to move less and contract. It's a subtle dance between the tower and the environment it inhabits. Quantifying the growth. Now, let's put numbers to this growth. We're not talking about monumental changes, we're dealing with a matter of inches. The Eiffel Tower can expand or contract by approximately 6 inches due to temperature variations. In the realm of structural engineering, where precision matters, even these subtle alterations can be of significance. Real-life analogies Your house is creaky floors To better grasp this concept, consider the creaky floors in an old house. In winter, the wooden floorboards contract, creating those distinctive creaks. Come summer, with its warmth, the boards expand, and the creaking diminishes. The Eiffel Tower, on a grander scale, follows a similar principle but with iron, a material chosen for its specific properties. The Influence of Material Choice The selection of iron for the Eiffel Tower wasn't arbitrary. Gustav Eiffel, the mastermind behind the structure, intentionally opted for iron due to its durability and flexibility. This deliberate choice allows the tower not only to withstand the test of time but also to adapt to the ever-changing climate. In conclusion, the Eiffel Tower's growth in the summer is not a mere quirk, but a testament to the intricate relationship between materials, temperature, and structural design. It's a captivating interplay of physics and engineering that adds another layer of fascination to this architectural masterpiece. If you found this exploration intriguing, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more in analyses, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until our next analytical adventure, keep pondering the wonders that surround us. Adieu!